What is going on, beautiful folks? Welcome to another episode of Mornings with Lee Hammock, your favorite self-aware narcissist. This morning, we're going to be talking about how you don't even really like the narcissist anymore. You don't even really like the narcissist or the toxic person that you're dealing with anymore. You really don't. Let alone, let alone love this person. Um, I I get this a lot, y'all. I get I get so many people that I'm talking to that I'm dealing that I'm, that I'm doing one on one Zoom sessions with that are in my support group. They just and they tell these heartbreaking stories about the toxicity and how they still miss the narcissist. They, even when they go back to them, sometimes they still cannot stand the narcissist. They 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 look at them like I just hate the fact that I love this person when they treat me so horribly. They're an asshole. They they are hateful. They're an evil person. When I tell them, I'm like, it don't even sound like you like the person. It's like, really don't. Then how do you love them? And they'll be like, wait, what? I'm like, no, you say the way I say the person you're describing, it doesn't even sound like you like them. So how do you love them if you don't even really like them? And, that, and somehow <laughs> it becomes groundbreaking to people right there. I'm like, wait, wait. I'm like, how can you love somebody that you don't really like? You see how those two, those, that, that right there just clashes. That clashes right there. You don't really like the person. Sometimes you get addicted to the person. Sometimes you have uh, an abandonment wound. Sometimes you yourself have abandonment issues. Sometimes I've talked to people who had, I'm not, don't go try to self-diagnose yourself, but I've talked to people who, who have had or who have borderline personality disorder. And when you're dealing with a narcissistic person, they bring out the worst in you. Dealing with a narcissist and having borderline personality disorder can absolutely bring out the worst in you, right? Or, like I said, you don't like them. Sometimes you, it's like, it's not love, it's trauma bond. It's not love, it's sometimes it can be an addiction to this person. So you have to kick, it's kind of like you have to kick the habit. Yeah, you, you gotta kick the habit. You know what I mean? That's why I should say, it just, it just, you know, morning, Lee, uh, like, I'm writing this stuff down, y'all. Like, I talk to so many people and I was like, you can't, you can't love somebody, really truly love somebody that you don't really like. You have to understand who this person is. Well, I know, I know, I know, I understand who they are. If you understood who they were, you would be able to just separate that. You, you should be able to break that tie that binds. Understand who you are. It help, helps you move forward. Understanding who they are helps you break that tie. I don't think you love them anymore. Yeah, you miss them. It, it makes you. It makes so many people angry that they miss somebody who abused them. And I tell. I have to tell these people all that. I was like, look, it's understandable to miss somebody that abused you. It, 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 it's understandable to miss somebody that you you once loved. Yeah, that's so like unbelievably understandable. Like you're a human being. You're a human being. You're some, you you are allowed to miss people. You absolutely are. You're a human being. You're allowed to miss people, even if they hurt you, even if they've done you wrong. You're allowed to miss them. You're allowed to miss that person. Like it would be, it'd be stranger sometimes if you didn't miss them after being after being with the person for a year, two years, three years, four years. Like the closer you are to the relationship ending or to being out of it, it makes sense for these feelings to still be there, y'all. It makes sense for the feelings to absolutely still be there for this person. You know I'm don't hammer away at yourself. The narcissist is going to do that, do that enough, y'all. They're going to hammer away. They're going to try to hammer away at you enough. Don't, y'all. Don't give them the damn. Don't, don't help. Don't give them a hand. Don't get. Don't give them a helping hand to abuse you and confuse you. Don't do that. <laughs> you know I mean? Don't do that type of stuff. Don't give them a helping hand to abuse you and use you and to treat you horribly. We're not. We're not. We're not, we're not going to do that, y'all. That's why, like I said, that's what we, you have to work so hard on yourself. And I know to a lot of people, it doesn't seem fair. It's not fair. It's absolutely not fair to be still caring about an abusive person. It's absolutely not fair to get abused by this horrible person. It's not fair at all. I want y'all to win. You know what I say? Just understand. Just like go look, lay out. Just think about it in this situation. When it, when they pop up in your head, just like I don't even like this person. I don't like you. I don't like them, and that helps you in moving forward. That helps you in breaking the tie that binds. You don't like them. You can't love them if you don't really like them. You see what I'm saying? And I say that's why so many people go back into so many people be ashamed 
to go back into this toxicity. Well, Lee, I gave like you know, well, Lee, if I gave him, another, I decided to give him another chance. I'm embarrassed, and nothing changed. But you know what was funny? I was like, no, I'll ask them. I was like, so how did you feel when you were back with the person? I just, I mean, at first it felt okay. I just never felt completely safe. I just felt, I, I just felt like this was, I'm, I was just on borrowed time. I knew the relationship was going to end. I, knew, I just didn't trust them. I just knew the relate, their behavior was going to go back to the normal. And guess what happened? They did. Dude, uh, I had a lady in my support group last night try to tell me, dude, say he, he had been working on his anger issues. And then like a, a little while later, he tried to jump out of a moving, jump out of the moving car as a, to avoid accountability, to avoid having a conversation with her about something. He tried to jump out of a moving car rather than have a general, have a generalized conversation about something. Not even a tough subject. He just didn't want to talk. So he's just like, I'm going to jump out the car. That's crazy. And she was like, yeah, I don't, I realize I don't even like him, but it's hard to break that tie, but you can break it. You know, that's why I was just saying like, I still love the person. Change your words. You have, you have to change the words that you're using. You have to. If you keep saying, I love this person, your mind is going to find love. Your mind is going to find the love there that you still have for the person. Even if it's trauma, your mind is going to mat your mind in order to get rid of the pain and the, the suffering that you might be going through internally. Your mind is going to take that trauma and mask it as love. That trauma is going to put a, it's going to put a mask on your trauma. It's kind of like putting a paper, you know, people just say, you know, put a, paper, put, a, put a paper bag over his head. He'd be cute. It's just like taking that, that old crazy looking dude from back in the past and putting a bag over his head. Oh, he, he handsome now. Or that, that, that girl from the past. They put a bag over her head. Oh, she, she beautiful now. You see what I'm saying? You put a bag, they put a bag over their head to, to make them more acceptable. But look at it. It's just like you have to use better words to describe the person. Stop saying I, I still love this person. Just say I don't like them. Change your words. I don't love them. Change your words. I'm traumatized. I'm tra I was traumatized by them. I'm trauma bonded to them. I was trauma bonded to them. I am breaking the trauma bond. I'm no longer claiming. I'm no longer claiming love. If you catch yourself in a situation where you're saying I love them, change your words. Correct yourself. Course correct. You. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a mantra. You have to repeat this mantra to yourself to break loose of this toxic narcissistic bastard. You know what I mean? You have to break loose. Y'all, so many of y'all are, are in like with these people. I mean, trauma bonded to these people that you don't really like. Write down all of their bad qualities. Repeat them to yourself, like a like a po like a like a potion. You gotta repeat this. Yeah, repeat this stuff to yourself like a damn potion, y'all, in order to break this tie that binds you to this person. You have to repeat your. You have to repeat this type of stuff in order to do that type of stuff. So I'm just saying, like this is the type of this is the type of mindset that you can have going into this. They can help you break free finally. They can help set you free finally because you are important enough. You deserve more. You deserve better than this abusive person. You deserve better than this toxicity. And this is so many people get confused about. Like, well, do I really deserve better? Yes, yes. But I can say that all I want to. You have to believe it. You have to take it as truth. You have to. It's only, it's only, it falls onto you. No, I know it don't seem fair, but it falls onto you. You know what I mean? You don't like this person. Just when they when they when they thoughts pop up when they when you when they pop up in your head, whatever triggers this response, I don't like you. Whatever their name is, I don't even like you. Don't use the word love. Change it change it to like and say I don't like you. Because a lot of y'all don't even like these people. You don't. You know what I mean? That's just my morning. That's my morning rant, y'all. I just had to get that off my chest. Cause I don't like to hear that when y'all say that. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, make sure you use up to the channel. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I'm thankful for you. I'm grateful for you. I love y'all. I do. I'm not in like with y'all. I love y'all. I really, really do. Thank you so much. Mental Hymnus is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you. Have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people. And click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.